What's new in the November build of Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 10 for the Xiaomi POCO F1? If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about what is new in the November build of Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 10 for the Xiaomi POCO F1. Now in case you want to know how to install this ROM on your POCO F1, I have a separate video for that which is linked in the description of this video. In case you want to see all the features of this ROM, I have a separate video for that which shows you the features of the previous build based on Android 10 for the POCO F1 and again that is also linked in the description of this video. In this video as I mentioned earlier, we're going to just talk about what are the changes which have been done in the November build. So right off the bat, you can see that the security patch level is November 5th, 2019 and the kernel is Illusion kernel version 4.2. Other than that, if you go into settings and then you go into apps and notification, click on see all apps, you will see that the Google camera application has been removed and it now comes baked in with Snapdragon camera. Well, that makes it easier for you peeps to install any Google camera mod which you want to and you will not have to worry about removing the Google camera manually. Other than that, you do have Pixel Launcher baked in and if you swipe, you have access to your Google feed and they've also added the new safety app from Google, the new recorder app from Google. I have a separate video showing off the features of this new recorder app, again linked in the description of this video and it will also pop up as a card on the top right of your screen. With this new safety app, you can now, you know, share your location with your emergency contacts in case you are in an emergency and it also has car crash detection. However, I pray to God in touch with that nobody has to ever test out the car crash detection feature of this new safety application. Next up, if we go into settings and then if you go into battery, you will see that they have added the option of battery percentage, a toggle for that and it works absolutely fine. If you go into display, you will see that we do have night light and adaptive brightness, your regular features along with dark theme, something which Google added with Android 10. However, something which is new is styles and wallpapers. So over here they have implemented the new pixel themes. They do not have all the pixel themes baked in but you can always click on custom and create your own custom theme. So you can choose between two fonts, you have a preview of whatever you choose on top. If you click on next, you can choose between four different icon packs. Again, preview is on the top. You have a choice of eight accent colors and you can also choose between four different icon shapes. Click on next, give it a name. Let's type in Munchy and then click on apply and bam, the UI will restart and the new theme will be applied. We can check it, icons have changed, new accent color in the building as well. So this is something which they have added with this build in display going back into styles and wallpapers you will see that you do not have the option of customizing your clocks certain roms had that option but i think google has removed that from aosp which is why roms have started removing that option going into wallpaper we do have pixel 4 wallpapers baked in as in the pixel 4 live wallpapers but the pokemon wallpaper is missing so in case you want to add that i have a separate video for that which is linked in the description of this video and it will also pop up as a card on the top right of your screen. If you go into advanced, you do have your option of double tap to wake and if you go into lock screen display and advanced, you do have ambient display in the building as well. Next, if you go into security, you do have fingerprint and screen lock via pin password and swipe. What is missing again is face unlock and do note that face unlock is something which Google has removed from AOSP in Android 10, so we are not sure if and when the custom ROM developers will add it back to their ROMs. If you go into accessibility, live caption is also missing in this build and I do not have an ETA or I do not know when the developers will add it. However, it would be a nice feature to have in the Pixel Experience ROM. As for the assistant, if you go into settings and then you enable the full screen gestures which are present in this build and use gesture navigation, you do get Android 10 gestures. However, they are a bit buggy right now for me. No, they're working fine. The assistant is still the old style. So you do not get the 
new style assistant and again i'm not sure when they're going to add it or when they are going to implement that as for the benchmark scores these are the benchmark scores which i got on this build and as i always say don't worry about benchmark scores if benchmark scores determined the actual performance of a rom then xiaomi's miui would have been king so there it is peeps that is what is new in this pixel experience november build based on android 10 for the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video peeps i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you